Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we got a video for you about the battery again. This, let me pull the, this up for us. So again, it's the EcoWorthy 150 amp hour battery. We are going to be adding a Victron smart battery sense monitor to it. So it can, uh, it's a temperature sensor for our smart solar charge control controller, the Victron MPPT 150. So it's uh, up to hundred volts, 50 amps. So what that will do for us is if this battery gets too cold, it'll tell that charge controller to stop sending power. So it won't charge this battery when it is super cold. The only downside is this will only work on the solar charger. Um, so if I was plugged into shore power, that would still charge us and it could damage the battery. So to prevent those issues as well, I'm also adding these little heat pads to the bottom of this battery. So I'm gonna add these little heat pads, four of them down there. It gives it a total of uh, 12 watts of heat on the bottom of that. Each one of these is a little three watt heater. Um, so that'll give it 12 watts of heat on the bottom of that. And I'm going to set that up on a little 12 volt tiny thermostat. And this will be set to turn on at, we'll probably do it at 35 degrees. So at 35 degrees Fahrenheit, these will turn on, which will then start warming up that battery. So it doesn't fall below freezing. And again, that'll help prevent that from getting too cold. Beyond all of that, it is in a fairly insulated box. The floor of this van is one inch of um, foam insulation, plus another half inch of um, polyester insulation that is in between the ribs um, of the, the floor. Plus then it has a quarter inch of plywood and then it has the um, luxury vinyl laminate flooring. Then beyond that, to protect it, protect it even more, this water heater, I mean, this water tank is 50 gallons. And you know, water has a very high specific energy, so it is difficult to, to get that 50 gallons to the freezing temperature. But to prevent it from freezing, and it hasn't ever frozen yet because I have a very similar thermostat connected right here, Right there, you see there, there's a thermostat right there, there's one there, and there's one there. This thermostat right here is tied into this little um, 120 volt inverter. It's a 150 watt inverter for 120 volt, which are tied into some floor heaters that go underneath this van in, the, in, in this, this water heater in the van. So there's a strip of heating, heated floor there another strip of heated floor there, and it, it comes all the way out to here, almost the full length. So that'll be underneath the battery, warming it up as well if it gets too cold. Um, so I think that this van, this battery is not going to get too cold and I'll always be able to monitor its temperature with this little sensor. And if it were to get too cold by chance, um, and we're, if it's that cold, we're most likely not plugged in because we're not sleeping in it. And we're not driving it, because if we're driving it, that'll be warming it up as well. We'll be in it, so it won't be that cold. So it won't be using the DC-DC battery charger. So again, with all of that said, I think just this MPPT um, controller with this battery sense monitor um, will be all that it will be needed. It's very unlikely that it'll ever get that cold with the different heated elements that are tied to it. Plus it's right next to the water. So since this water is never frozen, even at negative four degrees, um, it's never frozen through the winter when we're not using it. I've come, come out and check it multiple times and it's, it's never even come close to freezing. These, the floor heaters have been working fantastically. 
Beyond that, I have another one of these tied in for the battery, for these batteries right here. These are the additional batteries I have for this unit. There's three of those 170 amp hour 12 volt batteries from Big Battery. Um, those have their own separate little heat strip in the floor right there, tied into this thermostat. And then this thermostat right there is just for this fan. So if it gets too warm in this box, where all these electronics are causing some heat in the summertime. It turns on that fan that pulls all that heat out and put, dumps it into the garage. So lots of little thermostats tied into this so to keep it to keep it warm enough and cool enough. I'm adding another one for right here to make sure that stays warm enough. And that's what we got. I'll kind of show you the progress of that. All right, so to hook this up, smart battery sense, all you need to do is connect the red to the red, the positive side, the, the black to the negative side. This will turn on, you'll connect it to it in your Victron Connect app, um, do the uh, firmware update on it, and then you'll set up a private, um, you'll set up another Bluetooth network for those, the smart, con smart solar control, charge controller and this temperature sensor to connect to each other, and they'll start sharing the data with each other, the, temperature and the voltage will be shared from this sensor right here and then the charge controller will know whether or not to charge or not based on the temperature and um, it'll adjust its parameters based on the, the battery voltage instead of the voltage it's sending out it actually is going to be reading the voltage from the battery itself so if there's a teeny bit of voltage loss voltage drop then uh, it'll account for that as it's sending for charging the batteries um, so anyway it's very simple to set that up really it takes a matter of 30 well a matter of two three minutes to get it all done um, and now I have this cheap Chinese battery that now has low temperature um, um, charge protection I also have it set up with its own um, circuit protector 100 amp so that should be sufficient for this um, if you ever need to isolate it you can just turn that one off like that and flip it back on and now it's connected with the rest of the batteries. All of my other batteries have a little power switch. You can actually just flip, we can turn that off, that off, that off. Now if I turn this off, pretty much most of our power goes off, but we still have power coming from solar. So now if I flip this switch, which is our solar coming in, all of a sudden we have no power um, and so we will just turn all that back on though turn the batteries on first connect those all back up so they're all turned on and then we'll turn on our solar again turn our lights on and there we go we're back in business so I can isolate everything, turn everything off. Um, everything has its own little circuit breaker to protect the wires. And that's the setup of that Victron temperature sensor. Now I'm gonna hook up the little battery warmers to prevent it from getting too cold. And I'll show you that as we go. All right, well, make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along the next video where I'm gonna show you how to set up a little battery heater. Um, DIY battery heater to make a, a cheap Chinese one have that um, it'll all total cost about 15 bucks to add the battery heater into it um, Anyway, like and subscribe and follow along so you can see that content. We'll see you in the next one